Hello everyone, my name is Naren and in this session I am going to talk about Google Search Autocomplete feature or type ahead features, system design and algorithm. As a part of any system design interview, uh, when, the, when the interviewer asks you the system design question, don't hurry up to answer for that question immediately. Instead what you need to do is take some time, think of all the features which you want to support and frame your answer around it. In case if you have any doubt, feel free to talk to your interviewer about what feature you are supporting and what not. Okay. Having said that, for this particular feature, Google Search Autocomplete, let's see what are the important features which we want to incorporate in our system design. So the first feature which I can think of it is the response time. So response time. So why it is so important? Because uh, for example, Facebook has a thing that they always enforce that uh, their auto completion system should respond within 100 milliseconds. If the time, the response time doesn't have any bound, uh, the design varies. Since we are expecting the response time to be less than 100 milliseconds, our algorithm should be faster enough to process suggestions uh, within 100 milliseconds. Okay. The second feature which I can think of it is relevant or contextual so it should be relevant or contextual okay what does uh, relevant or context means given a prefix the autocomplete or the suggestions should be relevant to uh, the prefix which we have given or it should be relevant to the context uh, for example the context means the logged in user or the place where we are searching, okay, or the page we are searching. So this is what contextual or relevant means. The third feature which which I can think of it is so so the number of results which we are expecting and sorted result. So when I say sorted results or the sorted suggestion. That means that the autocomplete suggestion, say about 5 or 10 different suggestions, should be sorted based on the popularity or the ranking. Okay. Having said that, we have listed down all the important features which we want to support in our system design. Let's go ahead and start designing our system uh, that is type ahead system. Okay. What is the best data structure or, or algorithm which we can use now to design our type head system? I can think of tri data structure because tri data structure gives you time complexity of order of L where L being the length of prefix. Isn't that is good? So order of L is really good. You give the prefix, you get the order suggestion in order of L time. Try data structures are really good in searching a prefix or a word. Remember that I said a prefix or a word. It is also space optimized. That means it consumes very less space. Okay, having said that, let's take some sentences and build a try and let's see how does it work. Okay. To explain how to use try data structure to figure out all the possible suggestions for a prefix, now here I have taken few words and then let's draw a try data structure here and then see for ourselves how to find prefix uh, suggestions for a prefix. Okay? So before going to write the try, try data structure, uh, let's give some ranking here. What is a ranking? Ranking is um, given to a specific sentence or a search keyword based on how many times user has searched using that keyword. Lesser the usage, the ranking will be lesser. The more the usage for, of a specific search keyword, uh, the ranking will be higher. So in this case, let's assign some random ranking to this. Okay, so consider dog have nine ranking, doll have 11, don't have 21, dart have one, dip has say five, okay. Using this data, let's draw our tri data structure. Okay, as you know, tri data structures will have node, and all these nodes are hashed, so accessing the different nodes is pretty much faster. That is always order of one. Okay, now since you see here, all the 
words which I have taken starts from D, a root node will be obviously starting with D. Okay. Now going forward, you have to take the next letter that is O going to this particular hash, we find D O as a next node. So if you see more of here, there is one more uh, letter that is A. In here we find the next prefix is D A. Okay, and one more D I with the I prefix we have one more prefix called D I. Okay, so these are prefixes. Every node is a prefix. Okay, so the next let let's go forward. So after D O we have G with the G as hash. What is the prefix we get? We get D O G. If you see. This particular word uh, or the prefix itself is a word with a ranking. So assign the ranking to that particular node. So this has ranking 9. Okay. Whenever a node or the prefix node has a ranking, that means it is a valid suggestion. Okay. So now this is a valid suggestion. Let's fill all the other words in the tri data structure. Now we have devo l over here. If we go forward with the L letter, we get one more node called devo L. This doesn't have a ranking in our list, so this is not a valid suggestion. Going forward, we have one more letter called L. This is D O L L. If you see, doll has a ranking of 11. We would update over here. So next is don't. D O is the prefix. We go to N. We have one more prefix called dot. Dot could be a valid word in English, but we don't have any have that particular word in the list so this is not a valid suggestion for our search engine okay so next if we go forward with the letter t we have a node called t o n t okay we have this word in the list with a ranking so let's update the ranking to 21 okay let's fill out others dart with with r Next letter, we get node DAR. This is not a valid prefix. We get next uh, T. So, this is a valid suggestion. So we get ranking 1. So, with the dip DI, with the letter P, we get DIP. And that has a score 5. Now, this is the data, try data structure which can give you the suggestion. Let's um, get the requirement. So according to the requirement, we have to show three top suggestion for any given prefix. That is three suggestion. Okay. And you have to sort the suggestion based on the ranking. Okay. You need to sort. Okay. Now, what is a prefix? Given a prefix, for example, Devo, let's try to find all the possible suggestion in this data structure okay what is it we have duo okay now scroll or, or go through this try data structure and go to this particular prefix try to find this particular prefix if we don't find this particular prefix in our try data structure we cannot show any suggestion okay now let's try we have do let's go to d node we have to go to find do prefix with the O as a hash, we get in DO prefix. We got it. That means that if this particular prefix node has any children, that means we have a valid suggestion. Okay. Now this has many children to it, right? Now let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see all the possible suggestions um, we can find or not. Okay. Now after finding the prefix which we are looking for, that particular node. We have to traverse each and every node and figure out all the possible suggestions or the word which has ranking. Now here, if we go to the first key which is available in this particular prefix node, we get talk. And this has a ranking. That means it's a valid suggestion. So let's list out all the ranking we get so far. That is dog with ranking 9. Okay. Next, we travels here. This is not a valid node. So next, this is a valid node with the ranking 9. That's good. We got one more suggestion. Devo 11 with ranking 11. Let's go to this particular node. 
Don because Don is not a valid keyword because it doesn't have any ranking. Let's go next. We got don't with a valid ranking that is D-O-N-T T plus 21. Okay. Now there are no other children left, so these are the possible position which we can show to the users. Okay. Now if you see the second requirement was we have to sort the suggestions based on the ranking. That means this will go down, this will go up. That means the order is okay. We can take from the top to down, uh, bottom to top. This is ordered. So the first suggestion is don't, second suggestion is dog, and the third suggestion is dog. Okay. This is how we find out suggestions using try data structure. Mm -hmm. Now that we have our try data structure which can suggest all the different suggestions based on a prefix, given prefix. Now let's try to compute the time complexity. Okay. Okay, what is the time complexity to go to a specific prefix node? So the time complexity is order of L, where L being the length of the prefix plus order of N. From here, we have to find all the possible prefix under this particular prefix node. Okay, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be order of N. The number of prefix nodes which is under a prefix uh, which we are trying to search. Okay, and then the time which we took to sort the output or the suggestions we got for this particular prefix. Okay, we have to sort all of them and then take top n number of suggestions to show to the user. That means we have to spend k log k time to sort it considering we are using the best for sorting algorithm so this will be our total time complexity to find suggestions for a given prefix using try data structure if you see here this is a little bit more right so our goal is to give all the possible suggestions within 100 millisecond or even lesser now that we know the time complexity to figure out suggestions for a given prefix using try data structure, the question is, can we do better? Can we perform better? The answer to this question is, yes, we can, but with some pre-computation. I'll explain you now what is the pre-computation we need to do to make this particular data structure even better to uh, get the suggestions much faster, okay? So, to make this try data structure a little complex, I will add a few more words, that is, for example, D-O-L-L-A-R with some ranking, say, 51, and I'll add one more word called D-O-G-E with a ranking, say, 15, okay? Now, let's finish this try data structure with, to accommodate these two new words, that is D-O-L-L, we have one more L, so, okay, let's D-O-L-L, we have A, D-O-L-L-A, this is R, D-O-L-L-A-R, with ranking 51, and D-O-G-E, for that, with the E, we have D-O-G-E, and this is valid word with 50. Okay, now I'll show you what pre computation we need to do on top of this try data structure to make this data structure even faster. So, what we need to do here is compute all the possible suggestion for every that is, each and every prefix nodes in this try data structure. What does that mean? Go to each and every prefix node in this try data structure and pre-compute or calculate all the possible top three suggestions there in that try data structure. For example, we have to, to compute, pre-compute, we go to the data you know, prefix node D and try to get the top three prefix uh, suggestion for the prefix D from the underlying try data structure. What are the top three uh, suggestions for letter D? That is we have all these possible prefix node in that the valid prefix uh, suggestions are dog, dodgy, uh, that 
that is essentially all of that is in the list. So we have to pre-compute and save the top three suggestions in this node itself. That is we have to use a list, sort it and save it. For top, uh, for the letter D or the prefix D, what are the top uh, suggestions we can figure out from this try is first one dodgy with uh, sorry dollar with 51 rank that is dollar goes here comma with 51 rank we don't need to have 51 rank but for next updates and everything we have to say ranking as well so dollar with 51 and the next one is don't with 21 21 and the next one is okay it's 21 so the next one is dodgy with 51 that is D O G with score 51 okay so now we have pre-computed all uh, the top three suggestion for the prefix D similarly we have to pre-compute for prefix D O as well for D O what are the possible suggestions which we can get is only this much right okay so now what are the top three among top three session under prefix node devo okay that is don't sorry dollar dodgy and don't it is something similar but it's fine so this is dollar don't and devo g okay with the rank 51 21 Sorry, this is 15. I guess, yeah, sorry, 15 and 10. Okay, now pre compute for dog also. In this case, the only node available under this is it itself and dodgy. So now, in this case, there are only two suggestions available that is dodgy with 15 rank and dog with 9 rank. Dodgy with 15 rank and dog with 9 rank. So in this case we only have one prefix node that is dodgy and it's itself is a valid uh, suggestion. So this gets dodgy with 15 rank. So similarly calculate for each and every node. So in this case we get dip with rank 5. In this case also dip with rank 5. So in this case, what do we get? We get only dart. In this case, we get only don't. In this case, only don't. In this case, what we get is dollar with 51 and dollar with 11. So when we pre-compute all the possible suggestions for, for every prefix node, we have the results available readily at a given prefix node. Okay? Consider we want to, come, uh, we want to figure out all the possible suggestions for prefix di as soon as i type di i have to show all the possible solution for the prefix di what we need to do is go to d go to di node get all the prefix which is ready available over here that is only one solution available that's prefix called dip see it is already sorted because it is what we have saved is already in a sorted manner so we don't need to sort or do anything so the time complexity to get in this way is order of L. As I told you, L is the length of the prefix, that is order of 2 because we went 2 times. This is how we can optimize try data structure to get the suggestions much faster. So to proceed with the system design, first we need to find a way to save this particular data or the try data structure in some persistent um, storage that is maybe cache or db for that let's use something called prefix hash table what is it so let me clear the space up and then draw a table that is called as prefix hash table so in prefix hash table we have two columns one is prefix and suggestions okay so what prefix column contains is the prefix as it says 
and suggestion column contains these values. What do we need to do is first in memory we need to build the try data structure and traverse through each and every node and keep saving the results which we pre-computed and save in each node. For that, let's start from D. For the prefix D, what are the possible suggestions? That is list with dollar with the rank 51, don't with the rank 21, and dodgy with rank 15. Okay. We will go to the next node, DO, if we get prefix DO, we get again same answer, dollar with 51, don't with 21, dodgy with 15 ranking. We go to the next, we have DOM prefix, what we get is DOG, come on, DOM, DOG with 15 and DOM with rank 9. For the dodgy, Thing. Dodgy prefix, we get only one output that is dodgy 15. Okay. Similarly, you have to save each and every node and their respective pre computed suggestions in the table. Whenever a user searches for any particular prefix or whenever a user types a prefix, all you have to do is come to this particular table, search that particular prefix, and then get the results or the suggestions which is saved against this particular prefix. Since these prefix are hashed or indexed, the searching for that particular prefix will be much faster and we can deliver the suggestions as fast as possible. And now let's talk about the architecture. So what do we need? What system components do we need to build this entire system? I'm not going to go in depth, but I'll give you an overview or high level system design for this. So what do we need? Obviously, we need API server, okay, which serves the API request. Say, when the user searches some prefix or the keyword, uh, when he types the prefix on Google search bar, we have to make an AJAX call to this particular API server with the prefix. This API server, in turn, what it does is it queries the DB or Redis okay, cache with the prefix and gets this all the possible suggestions and returns it back. Since we need to scale it or make it high available, we need to have multiple API servers which are horizontally distributed. Okay. Now, when we have multiple API servers, obviously we need a load balancer in front of it, and that is LB. So load balancer based on the load on these servers, it distributes the requests to these different servers. So the request will hit the load balancer, and the load balancer offloads the request to API server, and the API server talks to the DB or Redis and gets back the results and serves back to the user. Now let's talk about DB or Redis. We can use either of it, but Redis or the cache is much faster compared to DB. But irrespective of that, we can also go ahead and use DB. DB like Cassandra we can use, or any NoSQL. Or cache, we can use Redis or Memcache based on your load. Okay, now let's talk about a little bit briefly about the DB or Redis, whatever you choose. We have to make this as multiple nodes or clustered. That way, we have multiple nodes of DB, that is node 1, node 2, and node 3 are running, and we don't see any um, failures or errors because of one DB goes down or something like that. So when we have cluster of nodes, either of these nodes will respond and we also have um, replicated the data into multiple DB even on failure of one particular node, we won't lose any of that data and the performance will be much faster. The same thing applies for the Redis also since Redis being 
um, multiple node we can have multiple nodes of redis so we can have distributed redis system to achieve the same um, level of performance now that we learned system design for type ahead or google search auto completion now let's talk a little bit about how to include contextual results uh, or uh, real-time or trending suggestion results into the results which we just discussed so I'm not going I'm not going to talk briefly about this particular um, topic or features I'm going to give some ideas on how we can implement first to implement user based search suggestion what we can do is we can maintain a table where all the history of search keywords for a user is saved. Okay. The second thing is to incorporate trending uh, search keys. What we can do is every uh, every portal or the complex system will be having stream processing engine, which will be. Uh, computing the top trending search keywords obviously I'm expecting a table which has the top trending keywords or top top trending search keywords in a table say we have about a thousand um, keywords for a day or for a recent period what we can do is we can get some suggestion with a specific searching prefix keyword in this table also and incorporate the result. Okay, now um, having discussed about these two things, now when a user gives a prefix, how do we get the result which involves all of this? The result will be uh, comprising of, first one, all the results from, from prefix table which we discussed earlier, hash table table which contains the basic or the default search keywords across your portal plus user specific uh, search results and trending suggestions result okay whenever there is a request uh, to get the suggestion for a prefix, what we need to do is we have to run three different queries. One which gets uh, all the possible suggestions for a prefix using the prefix hash table which we discussed earlier and then we have to add the results from user specific uh, previous history of such, you know, search keywords plus today's or recent trending um, keywords or the search keywords uh, which matches this prefix. So, combining all of these results, we can build a very efficient type ahead system. I think I have covered most of the details about how to implement a type ahead system. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. Thank you.